do not attempt to adjust your set. This is a streaming freedom video bulletin. It cannot be stopped, and it is the only free voice left on the net. Hello friends, and welcome back to the channel. For today's Skyrim Mod Showcase on the PlayStation 4, I have for you a mod that is currently in beta. This is by the mod author Cyan49, and in order to use it, you do need to have Dreamweaver Ports of Call installed in your mod loader. This is an add-on for it, one that I uh, am very excited to try out that I first saw on Cyan's YouTube channel, which I will be leaving a link to in the description box down below. And in any case, this will add on to that and allow you to have uh, pirate attacks and dragon attacks while at sea. So let's take a look at the mod name and the description. So this mod can be found in the current section. The name of it is Dreamweaver Port of Call Add-on Pirate and Dragon Attack Beta. It is by the mod author Cyan49 and this is version 2 of the mod. Now I suggest reading this description in its entirety. It is fairly long. I am going to read it in part here. So Cyan's description in part reads, I was one of the crew members of the Dreamweaver project. Required Dependencies. This mod is an add-on for the Dreamweaver Port of Call and requires the original mod. For this to work properly, you must install this mod below the Dreamweaver Port of Call and if you have Smuggler's Cove installed, put it under this add-on. That is Dreamweaver Port of Call add-on Dreamweaver Excursions. Our team even has permission to extend or reduce the original mod. However, I would like to keep this as a separate mod for now. I aim to work without touching the original mod as much as possible. And the description here in part says, This mod adds two custom random encounters to the Dreamweaver's ship deck at a location called Ship Off Coast. Uh, added power to adjust these random encounter chances. It's automatically learned when you install the add-on. The name of the power is DWPOC Pirate Dragon Attack Option. This option also includes extensions that are available if your game has certain creations installed. If you enable it, the light armor versions of the pirate outfit and many recolored sabers and scimitars are lootable. So when it comes to the pirate attacks, there is a total of about 20 pirates on the pirate ship and the random encounter chance is set by 60 at default, but you can change that. The same with the dragon and uh, the next part to do with the dragon though, I really want to go over here because it was really unique what Cyan was able to do with it. So a little further down the description, it states the dragon attack that this is a sea encounter that places the ship in a situation that replicates the two dragon attack scenes from the large ice field in the Forgotten Vale, where the two named dragons ambushed the dragonborn, Vosalrim and... Nostalrim, which I'm probably not saying that right, when they burst out of the lake and attack. Using much of what was already scripted for this scene and overlaying it around the ship's deck would provide a very unique and interesting combat scene. And that is something that uh, we will be seeing in the mod that is going to be absolutely amazing. Science Description finishes off saying, I need to get feedback in the comments on YouTube or on my Discord channel. I mainly want to hear your opinion on adjusting the game balance of this random encounter or about unexpected bugs. And then it gives a link to his Discord. So friends, with that said, uh, let's take a look at this and I cannot wait. Okay, so to access this, we need to head to one of the uh, areas that the Dreamweaver is docked at. Now, normally I head for uh, Solitude, which is located right uh, here, but I have a mod active there that kind of messes with it. So instead, I'm going to head to uh, Windhelm docks to it right here. Okay, so, once you arrive at the Dreamweaver, you want to head up, and, uh, is that a bear? Uh, maybe not. At any rate, you want to head up, and we will be heading over to the, uh, travel map, located up here at the bridge, and setting off to the new, uh, wait a minute, what? Uh, 
Okay. There's a dragon already here. I somehow don't think he's a part of the uh, mod. This could just be coincidence. I don't know. I don't believe they're supposed to show up before uh, you get to the area. I haven't said anything yet. Okay, so I've uh, been trying to interact with this dragon for a while. I can't touch him. He's up too high for me to be able to hit him with anything. So I think it was just coincidence. Uh, to actually set the mod up, I'm going to go to all. And you'll see it's right here. Uh, DWPOC pirate dragon attack option. You can also find this in the powers category. And so, uh, that might help if I hit the right button, hit R1, and you see here you have a pirate attack chance that it goes from 0 to 100, the default is 60, this is how much of a chance you might encounter them when you go out uh, to see on the deck, I'm going to set that to 100, and I want to kind of experience this one at a time, so I'm going to set the dragon to 20, you can change these independently. If you have the Dead Man's Dread or Red Guard Elite Ornaments Creation installed, it asks do you want to replace the pirate's equipment. If you don't have the creations installed, you must change choose no. I don't have them so I will be selecting no but if you happen to have one or both of these creations and you want to replace the pirates equipment then you will be selecting one or both of those. Take this down Smee. Take this down Smee. <laughs> okay so what we want to do is I'm gonna hunch down so I can see my uh, actual cursor come up here we're looking for this right here step onto the deck at sea. I do believe. I'm just going to double check, but yeah. So we want to select step onto the deck at sea, and because I set the pirates at 100, they should spawn. Okay, so, uh, well, they're not here. Oh, wait a minute. What was that? Get them! Kill them! Oh, gee, I uh, hope they're talking about the pirates and not me. Okay. I see what happened. Uh, I hit a short loading screen. That's a little bit different than Cyan's uh, video showed it, but he probably was testing it obviously on his PC. But as you can see, there are pirates on the ship. Now, uh, I do want to state part of the mod description that I didn't read again. You should definitely read the entire description for yourself if you are going to install this but that there are about uh, 20 sh uh, pirates that will be on the ship and a pirate ship as you can see which is really cool that is over here and ooh toys <laughs> fucking awesome uh, at any rate that after you deal with the pirates that are invading the Dreamweaver and the ones that are staying over here on their own ship I do believe if I read it correctly that uh, you'll be able to enter the pirate ship and Oh, son of a bitch! Somebody just shot me in the knee with an arrow! Oh great, there goes my adventuring days. Is it you, asshole? <laughs> I can't believe that just happened on camera. And uh, he ain't looking too good otherwise either. Might have one or two arrows there. <laughs> uh, any rate, one of the genius things about this mod also that again I want to point out is the fact that you can set these encounters so if you want just a slight chance of one of these happening uh, which this as far as I know only happens when you select the out at sea option where you come out on the deck but if you want a slight chance or you want a uh, complete chance that it will happen every time that you can set that plus the fact that even better is that you can set the pirates and the dragons independently like I've done here where see since I set the dragon at only 20% where is that one at I, I can't find them as they're still shooting at me ah uh, any rate I set the dragon at uh, 20% and as you see it didn't spawn because that was a low chance for it to do uh, for it to because I kind of wanted to see both of these by themselves. Okay, I think that's everybody. Uh, I noticed Lydia and actually all the crew stayed over on the uh, Dreamweaver. I want to do that again. <laughs> that's neat. Uh, any case, so I don't know if it's Navmesh for followers or your crew over here. It, uh, it's got to be Navmesh for these guys to wander around. Let's see what they got. Okay, so if I'd have had one of those creations, I'm thinking it would have either added some variations of these or possibly recolored them. Uh, I'm not exactly certain, because uh, again, I don't have those creations, but if you do, you will probably be seeing something different than I have here. But here's some of the things that if you don't have the creations, you can get off of them. 
and uh, but it is it's just it's really ingenious that you can set these independently you can have one or both I think I'll do that I'll do one at a time then do both and just see how chaotic it can get but that's a really really good idea let's go ahead and head on inside this is really cool also that you can actually come in here afterwards there's a lot to do we'll go ahead and take a look uh, at some of this stuff but I want to go over something also I don't know if there are any enemies in here or not or if they were all on the deck I guess we'll see but here's some of the stuff that you can pick up inside the ship but uh, speaking with cyan 49 on his original okay yeah there are people in here uh, on his original video when he was first showcasing what he was working on on his channel I asked him if this would be its own uh, separate add-on in the loader there they are or uh, if this would be added into the actual uh, Dreamweaver mod itself well, there's only one here I'm gonna sneak but uh, he stated that he hoped it would be an add-on, but he also mentioned that uh, we hadn't decided yet, and he said that it was him, B. Very of A, and the daughter of the original mod author were the we that he was referring to. So I don't know, because uh, I haven't, I did message and ask about uh, it, how, you know, the involvement again for who did this if it was all him if it was collaboration I don't know who did what and uh, in all honesty I just I couldn't wait anymore uh, I know when he can he'll get back to me but I couldn't wait anymore before trying this out because I've been very excited about this so if I need to make any corrections I will do so either in the video or if it's too late to uh, I'll do it in the comments section or something but as far as I know, he was the one that mentioned we, meaning him, be very of a, and the original mod author's daughter, which I do not know if that is uh, Micah Ghost or Treehawk that he is referring to, and I don't know if she has a uh, mod author handle, if she has a mod name. This is really cool, but I did, I did want to uh, state that. There's some guy's sword sticking out from the floor there. Oh, yep, there's more up here. So it's really cool you have additional uh, pirates inside, too, and that one's kind of phasing through me. Getting some free hits on me, huh, buddy? Good thing I got that uh, Triforce ring on. While I was stuck in the uh, animation. Oh, this guy's the captain. Okay. He's pretty good, too. Not good enough, but pretty good. <laughs> And depending on how well your skills are, you'll probably have a harder time with them than I uh, am. My character's been around forever. Let's see what he has. Okay, so you have some ebony plate armor. Uh, oh, and a dwarven sword of thunderbolts. And I don't know if that's a vanilla asset or maybe something unique to this mod. I'll go ahead and take that. I believe also there's supposed to be a treasure chest in the captain's area. Let's see if we can find it. He didn't have a key on him. But, uh, ooh, well, there's a lockbox here, a strong box. Let's see what it's got. Okay, so yeah, a few things here also, but uh, overall, throughout the ship, you got a lot in here that you can loot, which is really nice, and, ooh, there it is. <laughs> uh, so this must be the pirate's, uh, the captain's bed and his clothes and end table and stuff. Uh, one thing that I want to point out again also is that this is in beta right now and that cyan 49 is asking on uh, the mod description as well as his YouTube channel that he needs feedback from you the community so if you are going to download and use this mod please give him feedback as far as uh, he wants to know feedback on the random encounter chances how that's working uh, anything about any bugs that you might encounter so for example I'll probably go ahead and mention this on uh, his pinned comment on his channel but like when I watched his video the pirates spawned as soon as he stepped out on deck when uh, he did it but on the PlayStation 4 there was a load screen that was no issue at all it's perfectly fine but it is a difference from what he experienced and I don't know maybe 
that will be interesting to him. I otherwise wouldn't say things that mundane, but if you find things like where the dragon maybe gets stuck or or you can't enter, things like that, you know, bugs, that kind of stuff, definitely uh, report that to him so that he knows. Because again, remember, this mod is in beta. And so again, I do want to state that there will be a link to Cyan's uh, YouTube channel, as well as the last video that he did on this. This will be the one that he had just uploaded in the description box down below. So any feedback you can probably put in his pinned comment on his channel. You're of course welcome to comment on uh, this video as well. Let's go ahead and turn them down. I want to see about the dragon now. But otherwise, it'd probably be most convenient for him to comment with any issues or observations like what he asked for. Okay, you gotta select this each time. Uh, on his channel. That's actually good. That way if I were to get or if you were to get one of those later on, you can reset the mod. So I think the way this is set up initially is that you would take and... Uh, Okay, I don't see any dragons, so I, maybe you got to leave the area and come back or something. Let's go inside, I guess, and see, or I don't know if you can go inside or you have to leave the area completely. Just so you guys know, also, I'm cutting the loading screens like I usually do, so it will be longer for you than it is for me. Okay, that's a, um, I think we got the pirates again. Uh, what I was going to say, and then I got distracted here. Let's see, is there any dragon? or? Because I do have a possibility. I set the pirates at 20, so there was a chance they could spawn, but there's a dragon here. I don't know. I think I might have goofed. Uh, well, that's what uh, testing mods is all about, is to see what we can and can't do in them. Uh, at any rate... What I was getting at, though, is I think the way this is thought to be set up is it would be, you know, you don't have to set this every time that you're wanting to go out. I am right now because I want to change the uh, percentage of the spawns of the pirates or the dragon. But otherwise, you could set them independently to whatever it is that you want. And then each time that you come out here to the deck would be that chance that one, the other, or both would spawn. And then if you decide that it's happening too much with one or the other, you know, whatever. You could change that later on, or again, if you got those uh, mods that it mentioned. So, I don't think you would need to do it every time. I'm gonna go ahead, because this is probably gonna take a while. I'm going to cut the footage, and uh, we'll see if we can get that dragon to spawn in. Okay, so now I totally forgot what I was talking about, because I tried not to talk while I was doing that. Uh... That's the thing, of course, that... Oh, great. Somebody's stuck ass in the way. Uh, I'm waiting. Yeah, so am I. I. Would you move your ass? I can't access the map. Come on, get out of the way. Need something. Yeah, I need her to move her ass. Okay, great. Um, can I pickpocket a ghost? Hands to yourself. Well, would you tell her to move out my fucking way? Okay, well, while I'm trying to figure this... There we go. Well, I'm trying to figure this out as to uh, what I did wrong. I think you have to leave the area and come back. Uh, I'm not going to cut it here because I want to go ahead and continue talking. But uh, that the uh, information contained here, again, you should never take anything that I say at 100% value. Uh, you know, I'm no expert in any of this. I'm just a gamer. So I do my best to try to showcase these and stuff, but I'm never going to be 100% accurate. And as you can see, I make mistakes like going inside to come out. That didn't cause the uh, thing that I set up to trigger. It was still set for the pirates and stuff. So uh, now I'm kind of wishing I had to cut this because <laughs> it's taking longer to load. But uh as always, you know, long-time viewers will, uh, okay, we're back here now. Uh, long-time viewers will know that nothing here is ever 100% accurate. I try to be as much as possible, but just please keep that in mind. Oh, great, now I'm going to have trouble with you too, huh, Lydia? Oh, you're kind of sitting off to the side. Let's see if this gets the dragon to spawn in. Yes. This is really uh, what I wanted to showcase. I thought it was so cool. And okay, just like last time, you notice it's kind of loading in. It says sample text there too. I didn't notice if it said that before. But guys, if you haven't seen this before, you got to watch this dragon. Uh, let's see. I hope I, 
I don't even know how I'm gonna fight this. I'm gonna equip my most powerful spell here. This usually shreds them, uh, but something I thought was so unique about this when I first saw it in Cyan's video is, uh, hopefully it will do it, is, oh yeah, this right here. Oh wait a minute, he didn't do it. Oh shit, now I fell down. I hope I don't miss him doing it. Uh, come on dragon. That. That is so fucking cool. And, uh, okay, it surfaced over there. That is something that apparently I was told uh, by Cyan that this does happen in game, but only once during the uh, Dawn Card DLC. Uh, and he elaborated a little later on uh, in the mod description that that happens in the Forgotten Veil, vale, but it was the only time that it was used. And, uh,. He went on to state because I had mentioned that, that I'd never seen it before. I just had forgotten because, uh, for those unaware, I've only ever played through the main story once. This is my main character, so a lot of that I have forgotten over the time as I've had this character for a long time. But, uh, Cyan stated that the uh, event was highly scripted and he couldn't just use it again so the initial one that was added in by Bethesda that was a highly scripted event that he couldn't use it again so he eventually ended up creating his own event and uh, that I guess you know borrowed from that or whatever I don't know exactly how he did it but to where he was able to uh, get the dragon to do it again as many times as it wants. Great, I'm missing it. It's not landing. I don't exactly know how to fight this because I've never fought a dragon at sea before. Uh, but I just, that is so fucking cool. And as you can see, it comes out that side too. And really, this uh, just gives a very, very unique encounter because you know, that that is uh, part of the genius when it comes to Cyan 49 and what he is able to do considering Sony's limitations on uh, PS4, their restrictions I should say, that he can make stuff like this, that this is, you know, truly unique instead of, he could have just took the easy way and just had a dragon, you know, like you do when you're in the land and stuff where it's just circling and attacking and it just been more of the same, but no. This is a completely unique encounter using a feature that was only apparently used once in the Donghar DLC. And he's added it here in a way that really makes these unique and makes you want to experience. And if I could ever actually hit this dragon, I think you're supposed to use these to, to battle it. But yeah, as you can tell, I'm uh, not used to battling dragons at sea. Did it flee? Oh, don't tell me it got away. Uh, <laughs> I think the dragon got fed up with my uh, lack of... <laughs> and decided to leave. Hmm. Might need to try to load another dragon. Uh, <laughs> maybe I should cut that out. <laughs> okay, so, uh, trying to keep this video as short as I can. It's still probably going to run long. What you didn't see was I traveled back to Solitude, and I did wait in Solitude a little bit, not for uh, any issue with the dragon, but I just wanted to double check and make certain that I had mentioned it right. I hope I can hit the sucker this time. Uh, but again, because what Cyan was able to do with this was so neat, so I actually went and looked real quick while I just kind of stayed idle, and oh, it's landed there. Uh, while well, I stayed idle in Solitude for just a bit, because I knew I was going to cut it, and uh, Cyan had stated that the animation was used only once in the Dawn Guard DLC, but it was highly scripted and he couldn't just reuse it. So instead he created a feature that works much better instead of that. And yeah, I'll say damn well he did, because again, it's absolutely amazing. I decided also, that's something else I should mention because you're seeing pirates this time, because I did so bad with the dragon last time and I wanted I wanted to kind of have a thing showing the pirates then showing the dragon then showing both I thought now oh, fuck it I'm just gonna go ahead so I set both the dragons and the pirates to 100% so that they would both spawn because I wanted to see if that would make a difference or like any reactions to them you would think the pirates might be afraid of this second <laughs> but no they're not 
Uh, but in any case, so that is the things that you missed because I figured uh, I don't know how much longer this is going to be. I'm I'm hoping I can actually beat that sucker. Uh, my help if I could hit the damn thing. <laughs> I am so bad at using that damn dragon rend. Uh, so either you're going to have an epic battle here in a moment with me whooping this dragon's ass or uh, I'm going to look like a complete jackass. Guess you know which one I'm hoping for. <laughs> Uh, so anyways, wow, uh, where the hell is it now? <laughs> That's something too, wondering where it's surfaced from, gotta keep an eye on your, uh, compass. I'm trying to figure out how to get to it. I'm, I'm used to, uh, waiting until the dragon lands right in front of me, or using dragon rend on it, uh, getting right in front of me, and then, like, either nailing it with my, uh, electricity attack here, wall of storms, or with the sword. And one thing I'll say, I've hit the dragon, I think, maybe just a bit. Aha! Your ass is mine. As long as I can get up. Oh, no, damn it! Get your ass back down here! I had you! Uh, if I can actually ever hit this dragon with this electric attack, this is my, like, my strongest attack. This usually tears dragons apart, so... Where is he? Good, I think he landed back on the ice. I can't tell. No, there he is. Come on, damn it. Land where I can hit you. Perfect. Don't move. Holy shit. He's actually withstanding the... This normally will take that meter down, and he's withstanding it. Damn. Uh, this dragon's very strong. I'm gonna rend him again before he can take off, and I'm gonna try my sword instead. Uh, so... Let's see... <laughs> This, this, though, this is, this is really cool. Uh, somebody that actually knows what they're doing at fighting a dragon at sea could probably show this a lot better than I can. But, in any case, I got him. So can we, uh, just pretend we didn't see the part where I kept failing miserably to get him earlier and just pretend that that was, like, epic? So, do you get a dragon soul off of these, I wonder? It looks like I'm going to. Let's see. Any time now. Okay, yeah. Okay, so you do get a dragon soul just like you would with an encounter on the land. And let's see what it has. Okay, so you have a lot of uh, items here. Again, I don't know. Uh, you do have vanilla things like Dragon Bone, uh, Daedric War Axe. I don't know if these are vanilla assets or maybe some of this is special to this particular dragon. I do believe there are variations of the dragon that you can encounter because uh, I'm kind of stuck down here. I didn't think this through. <laughs> uh... Let's see, go here. Uh, the mod description stated that there were some easier dragons, or less powerful, I forget exactly how it put it. But in any case, so, uh, why are they all running? Hey guys, would you stop yielding? I mean, I realize I didn't do the best job, but the dragon is dead. Guys, you're, uh, not looking good in front of our viewers. Come to think of it, ain't you guys ghosts? Why the hell are you... Oh, never mind. Okay, so, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and travel out. But, in closing, I just wanted to say, uh, first of all, again, thank you to Cyan49, and, uh, also, be very of A, and the original mod author's daughter. Again, I don't know how much, uh, was done by everybody. Uh, haven't heard back yet. But I just, I couldn't wait anymore. Uh, I noticed Lydia didn't come with me, but that brought her. So that might be an issue. But, uh, so in any case, in closing, there will be a link to Cyan49's YouTube channel on the description box down below. Just hit show more, as well as his most current video on this. And please remember that this is a mod that is in beta right now. So things like if you happen to be somebody that had the CC content that I don't, you might have a different experience than I do. And if you encounter any bugs or, uh, you know, with it not working correctly because of that, definitely let him know that's the kind of information that he is interested in. Yeah. See? Even the pirate agrees. <laughs> Take care, everybody. Thanks for watching. After completing the video, I did hear back from Cyan49, and I thank him for replying. I know you're busy. Here is what he had to say about the work on the mod that was showcased today. Cyan49's comment reads, We got permission from the daughter of the original author, Treehawk. 
I'm not sure if she can get involved in modding, but she seemed interested to it. Before the next chapter in the Dreamweaver series, B. Variave is working on merging the Port of Call and Smuggler's Cove, and reducing certain parts of the mod for compatibility. I dug up an abandoned project from 2017 docs and went ahead and created it as an add-on. This has been a Streaming Freedom video bulletin. Peace out. Thank <laughs> you.